we want to build the building blocks. How the identity system will work? Will it work with our corporate single sign-on system? Will it work with our access provisioning system? How the network from the cloud to on-prem will work? How the security configuration will work? So what we did is we picked a few simple applications. These were like extensions to our SaaS application. So we deployed this in OCI. This application itself were not very significant, but that gave us the opportunity to put together all the building blocks. Once we were satisfied or we knew how to operate in the cloud, then we looked at, okay, what are the areas where we can get immediate values without disrupting existing business? For example, we, want, we wanted to build bot capabilities for our, say, HR directory. Anybody in the company should be able to look up somebody's contact number or should be able to submit expenses through a mobile phone. So we wanted to build all these bot capabilities. So we built that directly in infrastructure or our cloud services because with our Oracle Digital Assistant and other platform services, it was very easy to do that. We wanted, we had a large corporate data warehouse. It has been built over the last 20, 30 years. So we wanted to redesign, reimagine the data warehouse. So we built that directly in Oracle Cloud using both autonomous database as well as analytics cloud. Then there are a few applications which needed better uptime, but we were never able to achieve that in our own prep. Like one of the application is customer lifecycle management. That needed to be like up throughout like 24 seven basis. So we moved that to OCI and leverage all the high availability capabilities to provide that kind of uptime for that applications. Then as I just said, we, we had few systems running on hardware which were almost out of warranty needed renewal or we need to subscribe or spend more so we took that opportunity to say okay rather than spending on this let's move that application or system to oracle cloud once we were done with the phase two then we shifted focus on our core applications like our core finance core hr and all and then we moved all those systems to oracle cloud we also move as part of that, we move all the remaining third party package software, any proprietary or custom applications. We move our entire enterprise reporting system, as well as we build the, we use the cloud storage capabilities to build the database vault. This is where we archive any system. We do all the acquisitions and m and and we need to keep all the data for legal hold and other purpose. So we built that data archive in cloud. Today, it's no longer like a pilot project or anything. We have a very significant footprint. And this is not covering the SaaS or other services. This is purely infrastructure where we run either the custom apps or other package applications or other services. We already have a very significant footprint in Oracle cloud infrastructure. <clears throat> So I talked about how we move. Next, I'm going to talk about what are the benefits that we have seen so far by moving to Oracle Cloud. First, I think is no surprise, autonomous database. Whether it's fully autonomous way to deploy and manage the infrastructure of the services, we are able to run mission critical system using the services without any system administrator oversight. I'll give you one example. We used to have uh, this customer lifecycle management, it's a homegrown application where we keep track of customer engagement and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and the interaction with the customers. It was running on-prem and we would have three, two DBAs in three time zones, managing this application, doing the housekeeping, doing the updates, doing the patching and all. When we move to autonomous database, we still need the, the resources to manage the application side or middleware side, but for database, we have zero. We do not, since then we have not 
assign a single resource to manage their database. And I'm sure you're going to hear a lot about other self-patching, self-tuning, self-scaling, and self-secure capabilities for autonomous database. The next significant benefit for us was better performance at lower price. At the price, when we did the pricing calculation, it included both how much we were paying on-prem to buy the hardware, the licensing fees, the support fees, the renewal, and the electricity, the cooling, the storage, everything, plus the resources on top of that. And then if you compare, many of our systems were not like they were running on some other, uh, you know, older server or something. Some of the applications were running on Oracle's on the previous generation of engineer system. But when we moved to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, because it, it, is all, it always runs on the latest and greatest, we saw anywhere between two to 10x performance improvement, but with lesser price. For one particular, I gave a couple of examples here. In one particular application, the performance improvement was 2x, which was, Again, I said it was already running on a previous generation of Oracle engineer system, but when we moved and ran it in Oracle infrastructure cloud, the performance improvement was 2x, but the cost saving was almost 40%. We are able to reduce the system deployment time, which used to take months to build from the day you decide to deploy a new application to the day you are able to go live, used to be months, now at least the system build part is in minutes. So you might be wondering, what do we do with all these resources, right? So because there are a lot of discussion about, okay, do you still need the DBA, what happens and all. So our strategy was, we saw as we move these applications and infrastructure to cloud, both SaaS and infrastructure cloud, we have been able to redeploy almost 35% of our resources to do other projects. We are able to, let's say we were doing 100 projects in a quarter, we'll be able to do 35% more project in that quarter. So we were able to redistribute or reallocate those resources for these additional projects. Finally, the cloud infrastructure unlock new possibilities for our business. Business are able to Adopt new technologies faster. AI, machine learning, bot, IOTs. We were able, to, we, we could have done that in on-prem, but it would have taken us do everything ourselves. We build everything ourselves. We spend time in configuring and uh, deploying and implementing all those solutions. Here we were able to uptake those solutions ready-made out of Oracle Cloud. With Zero plan downtime. Let me explain that. When we move many of our applications to Oracle Infrastructure Cloud, we are able to do maintenance work, not just at the application layer, but the infrastructure level with zero planned outages. Like where we used to have this weekend plan outages, we have completely eliminated those. And then even for unplanned activities, we are able to achieve, for some cases, like five nines uptime because of the high availability, multiple region. So combining the better uptime, better performance, we, are, we or the business are able to provide better experience to our users, both the customers as well as employees. And finally, with the ability to build system faster and quicker, the business is able to deploy or achieve value faster. They don't have to have three months wait time before they deploy their applications. So where are we today? Today, Oracle Cloud powers our entire footprint. We have moved supply chain, our core supply chain, we have moved our core HR, 
core finance, entire sales, marketing, all the functions runs in Oracle Cloud. As you know, it is supporting Oracle doing business in 175 countries. I picked few of the stats here to highlight the significance or the sheer volume of our cloud uses today. We do 22,000 new hires every year. It is managed through Oracle Cloud Services as well as some of the custom apps that we have built in Oracle infrastructure. It's serving almost 400,000 customers and as you know, and supporting almost 40 billion revenue. We do 30,000 expense reports per week, which supports 134, 38,000 employees. And on top of that, we are able to support 10 to 12 acquisition per year. So the, our footprint in the cloud is already significant. It is no longer early days or you know, let's try or then we will move. We are already uh, moved majority of, of our core business functions to cloud. So I talked about the benefits of moving to cloud in terms of dollar savings and then resource savings and all. But let's look at what are the benefits to business? 